This paper will help you achieve a better distance and as you can see we can start by making a simple triangle fold out of, uh, of A4 uh, size of paper. Uh, we'll need to repeat that fold on to the other side and make uh, like a cross across the actual paper. Then after that we have a slightly bit advanced uh, fold but it's not that hard to do. Uh, where you will see here you'll need to open the paper and then we'll need to put uh, the paper down again on the left side and get that corner, small corner, onto the right side corner of the sheet of paper as you can see here where my finger is. Then after that we need to repeat that on the other side and take that little uh, corner and put it on the left side. Now we need to crease that out in the middle so we have that everything tightly creased and as you can see in the middle you need to make that uh, crease to be very very sharp. Now that we have done that we need to turn over the paper and then we need to fold it in the middle like this and then fold that little part as well and now we have folded the whole plane in the middle. Now that we, we have done that we need to fold uh, the whole part, whole right part in the middle where we made the fold but not exactly at the middle you need to leave a little bit of space so we'll be able to do the other folds afterwards but you will see that uh, now on the screen that I have left a little bit of space uh, till that middle line as you can see on the screen. Now we need to repeat that on the left side as well. Uh, you will see uh, why we need to put that little space in between afterwards or I will explain it. And you want to make sure that uh, these two wings are basically the same size or at least very similar. Uh, the better the precision the better the plane will fly and everything needs to be very very tightly folded. Now that we folded both sides we need to fold again uh, in the middle. Again don't fold it exactly at the middle fold but just a little bit, uh, leave just a little bit of space. Now we need to repeat that on the right side as well. Now I'm doing this a bit faster so the video will not take that long. But you need to try to make everything very symmetrical and to tightly fold uh, all the parts that you see here. The more symmetrical and the more tightly folded it will fly better. So as you can see we're repeating the same part on the right side and now I'm just making a little bit better folds and creases. Now that we have done that we can uh, crease the plane in the middle. As you can see I have left a little bit of space where uh, the paper is a bit more folded. So we can actually do this now and make that middle fold or crease. Now that we have done that we need to make the wings of the paper plane as you will see here. I'm just folding it a bit harder now and now it comes a bit harder part. Uh, but you will see it's not that hard to do. So you need to make a wing and you need to realign that wing uh, with the fuselage of the plane as you can see here. And again you need to try to make it precisely and once you do the second wing, the second wing also needs to be similar size or if you can do it very exact size as the first wing that we folded. So I folded now uh, the first part, now I need to fold the second wing and I'm trying to make this wing a very similar size uh, to the first wing that I did so it's symmetrical. Now that we have done that we can crease that other wing and now we will see how you need to adjust the wings to be in a like a U uh, shape so the plane flies better. And also you want to throw your plane at about four, 40 degrees angle. But you'll see now how it looks like.
I need to put the, those wings a bit up so it will have that shape that we need to fly better and you can see that Y shape here try to make some symmetrical as possible I couldn't do it that perfect here because I did it a bit faster but that's it